Surveys conducted by the University of Scranton have found that just 8% of people achieve their New Year's resolution goals. Today, I will discuss the best things you can do in order to stay motivated and overcome the common challenges that people face when trying to live their dreams. You should choose a goal that you are intrinsically rather than extrinsically motivated to achieve. You should make a schedule and follow it until it becomes routine. And you should always prioritize your physical and mental health first. Do you frequently find yourself asking, how do I become more motivated? If so, it might be time to reconsider your current goals. Instead, try asking yourself, what am I internally motivated to achieve? This is a better question because each of us already has intrinsic motivation built deep inside of us. Successful people tap into this mo internal uh, motivation instead of simply chasing external desires without any underlying reason. So, motivation is the reason or reasons one has for acting or behaving in a particular way. The two kinds are extrinsic and intrinsic. Extrinsic motivation relies on external rewards, such as the desire to receive money, fame, or praise, as well as the aversions towards penalties or punishments like getting fired. On the other hand, intrinsic motivation relies on a person's internal values and the reward of feeling good to, to achieve a positive reaction. Intrinsic motivation calls upon a person's emotions such as joy, relief, and the sense of accomplishment when you achieve something. And they perform because it makes them feel good inside rather than chasing an external reward. The hardest part of finding success and achieving your goals is looking deep within yourself and finding that intrinsic motivation. Unfortunately, it is also the most important and critical part to finding success, as people are much more likely to get through adversity, stress, and other challenges when they are passionate enough and are driven internally to do so. Now, you might have the impression that I'm saying not to set extrinsic goals and that they're bad, but that is not true, as it is impossible to achieve anything without setting these extrinsic goals. Achieving a goal is like crossing a river by feeling the stones. You need to focus on the next stone in your path, not the one two or three ahead, as this will only distract you from achieving the current task at hand. In the same way, this is why it is vital to break down long-term goals into smaller segments, which you break down further and further until you have short-term, uh, realistic, extrinsic goals to follow that will eventually culminate to get you to that long-term intrinsic goal. For example, let's say my extrinsic goal for whatever reason is to help people out there who are suffering in the world. And so I decide to become a doctor, which is an extrinsic goal. And in order to do it, become a doctor, I would need to go to medical school, you know, uh, a shorter term extrinsic goal. And to do that, I need to get a pre-medical uh, undergraduate education. And I also need to uh, achieve a certain score on the MCAT to get into the school that I want. You can see that once you have that intrinsic goal, extrinsic goals naturally start to build and build and build on top of one another. But how does one know when a goal becomes short term enough that you can just go for it without breaking it down any further? Well, Paul J. Meyer outlines in his book, Attitude is Everything, if you want to succeed above and beyond, his SMART criteria. This is achieving goals that are SMART, or sorry, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time bound. We will examine these closer as we now look at the best practices you can do to achieve these short-term goals. It is very difficult to achieve goals without a routine. Uh, you, you've probably found yourself struggling to stay on task or find motivation throughout the day to achieve your goals. A routine is a set of actions that are regularly followed. But before you can have this, you need to first develop a schedule that you adhere to consistently until it becomes routine. This is because if you don't do this, you can uh, have negative things become a part of your team that actually take away from your success. The following are steps how to develop this routine. First, you need to know, first, you need, in order to build a schedule, you need to know what do you need to do to achieve your goal. You need to understand your current capabilities and what you need to do to improve them to get them to where they need to be. Once you know what to do, you need to know how long it's going to take you. Most goals are time bound uh, as Maybe you have an exam to prepare for or have a certain date when you need to be, reach a certain level of proficiency. Uh, so these need to be measurable, relevant, and obviously time bound. Uh, finally, you want to build a comprehensive schedule uh, so that you know exactly what you need to do 
to get to where you need to be. But not only should you include those things, you should also include the other things you need to do in your life, such as scheduling time for leisure, family, and friends. Following This will help you to follow your, your schedule more closely and reduce the chances that you will veer off and not do the things that you're supposed to do. This will become easier as time goes on, as you will be, begin to develop a set of habits that will culminate into a routine. One of the best habits to do is to cross things off your schedule, as your brain will become accustomed, accustomed to the satisfying feeling and sense of accomplishment that you get when you do so. People will sometimes put so much time and effort into achieving their goals that they will sacrifice other areas of their life, such as their physical and mental health, uh, their relationships, and other responsibilities. But this is a dire mistake. You need to have balance. Abraham Maslow outlines in his famous uh, book, Motivation and Personality, a hierarchy of needs. The concept is simple. Human needs follow a hierarchy in which the most basic needs are first fulfilled before further and higher level needs arise. The most basic need is the need for, psycho for psychological things such as uh, air, food, water, and shelter. We know that in order for our bodies, which includes our brain, to function properly, they need proper fuel. This involves having a well-balanced and nutritious diet, as well as getting proper exercise on a daily basis. A lot of people uh, claim to have anxiety or depression disorders, with anxiety disorders being the most common mental illness in the United States, affecting 40 million adults, which is 18% of the adult po population every year in the U.S. While there are many cases in which SSRIs and other anti-anxiety and anti-depression medication are beneficial, I believe that most cases uh, can be fixed by uh, having a proper lifestyle with good diet and a balanced amount of exercise. Our bodies have evolved to be active, running from predators and, hunt and, hunting, or, uh, and hunting our prey. If the body isn't doing what it is meant to do, you will not feel good. You, if you do not release that pent-up energy inside of you, it will manifest itself into anxiety, depression, and stress. If you have any of these symptoms, instead of thinking, what's wrong with me, you should think, what is wrong with what I do? Your emotions and feelings are your body sending signals to your mind. If you're feeling over-anxious or overstressed, listen to these signs. There's a good chance that you are suffering from a lack of physical activity and proper nutrition. Ensuring that you are at your best, both physically and mentally, will create the proper foundation to succeed in anything that you want to do. This can be anything from going on daily walks, watching your diet, or practicing yoga or meditation. I've added links into the description with more information on proper diet and exercise. Now that we've gone over these three best ways to stay motivated and stay on track to achieve your goals, let's review. Number one, you want to choose a goal that you are intrinsically motivated to achieve and are passionate about. Number two, you want to develop a routine that you love. There is only today, no tomorrow. So be proud of how you spend every single moment of your day. Creating good habits and abandoning bad ones will help you out. Number three, prioritize your physical and mental health first. Stress and fear are the biggest obstacles to people from achieving their dreams. A calm and clear inner state of mind is the best starting point for going after your goals. We all have the power to live our dreams. Remember, it is up to you to find that power within yourself and decide whether to use it or not. Thanks for watching.